In this video, we'll be continuing looking at sectional details. In this detail, we'll be looking at the valley detail. Now, the valley detail is just a reverse version of the ridge detail. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to start things off by first drawing our valley um, rafter, our valley board. So the width is 50, and you know, remember, the depth is 200. Width 50. And back up, 200. Here we go. And since this is being run along the tunnel, so we're going to draw that little X in between. All right, now we continue by, again, drawing a rafter. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to draw a line here. I'm just going to make it like uh, no, uh, 45, or we could make it 30. Could make it 30. Whatever is given to you, if they give you a pitch or an angle and you do it at that. We're just doing this um, for doing sake, so we're just um, giving it our own slope. So what we're going to do now, we're going to offset, offset 150 thickness for... The board itself, the ridge board. Not the ridge board, but the um, rafter, the valley rafter. All right, let's extend this to match. All right, that there. After we've done so, similar to what we did with the ridge board, we're going to offset 25 here. All right. Now this will go all the way, middle. All right, you could fill at the edge or whatever thing you want to do like this. So we're just focusing on one side and we'll mirror to the other side. Now let's um, draw our little let's see now. Let me draw a line just so I have a starter point here. It should be let's see L should be perpendicular. Alright, cool. Then, and this position is being randomly placed now. After I've done so, I'm going to offset this line here by uh, 50. That direction. I'm going to offset 50 up as well. All right, let's extend to match. Or you could have fill it. It's up to you. EX. Extend that to meet that one. All right, then I'm going to now trim the excess portions away. Um, we're doing the same as here. So across like this and across like this. All right, now um, we could put two or we could put three. Let me see. Should I, should I not? All right, let me just uh, move this down a bit more. using dynamic tracking put it there and then i'm going to make a copy of this here 600 mm away on center all right 600 all right so we might have to extend this here or uh, just for this purpose let me just move it a bit closer Using dynamic tracking to guide me, putting it right here. Now, similar to what we did with our um, ridge board, we're going to draw our little roof. So, starting here, we're going to offset by 12. So, 12, 12, we could do 12 again, 12. Well, let me wait a bit. 12, all right, cool. Uh, we're going to do the same on the next side as well. So, here as well, up. And down. So we're offsetting. Then we're going to draw a line in the center here. It's going to be about here. Then we're offsetting this line by 12 to get the thickness of the roofing material. And we're going to fill it here and here. And then here and here. Then we simply draw a line in the center here. Perpendicular to that. Fill it our trim this portion here we're just sketching our little roof here 
all right once i've done so you know we're going to continue things so um let's see we are going to draw this portion that is going underneath here which is basically like our cap thing capping like that so you know we need to indicate the thickness we're still using the 25 all right then we're going to offset here all right let's fill it and offset all right I think this is it yes fill it here line center like that all right now see as if i made a mistake we're going to be sorting that out right now all right so what we're going to do we're going to i am going to erase this one here and draw this line here along here along here this line should be offset now by the 25 or the 12 rather let's do the filleting thing here all right then we continue the offset process so you know we have to have that little portion that and the sticks over I'll go over that fill the edges and then that would be it all right that would be basically it. now for here we're going to stop um this year somewhere along the middle here depending on how much curve you want to um the roof and we're going to draw horizontal line across like this all right this will represent our little valley portion or the gutter of our valley you know what let me move this down a bit all right let me see how far this can extend let me select this first e x enter oops that's not going to give me what i want let me move it up a bit all right after i've done so let me offset down by the 12 and then we can simply fillet the edges so fillet this one here with this one here and this one here with this one here now this might not fall in the middle let me check this is the middle maybe this need to go up a bit more because i want my um valley raft to be smack in the middle okay here and here all right just like that now once i've done so i'm now going to mirror all of this to the next side so you know mirror mirroring all of this here to the next side so mirror my mirror line is right on the ridge or the valley rafter you no know? here we go we have our rich um valley um detail now let's um draw the section like what we did earlier which is us basically doing that, that, that so i'm just going to copy the one that i have earlier but um let's just do it over here so a person can understand what's going on so what i'm going to do i'm simply going to draw a line that passed through here like this and I'm going to draw a little um, pulse similar to like an EKG machine, the little graph that is produced or a lie detector thing. I'm going to select everything here. And this can be generated from AutoCAD. AutoCAD has this as a function. I just like drawing my own. All right. Get rid of this. And then I'm going to simply join all these lines to make one. So I'm going to type G-O-I-N-T and join them simply trim away the edges all right and you can mirror this to the other side should have done all this before mirroring no i don't want to delete and there you go we have all of that out of the way and we can clean things up or clean up our drawing a bit all right and once you have done so it's just time for you to do your labelings it's other labeling so we're going to use annotation tab and um, go to multi leader for example here you know this is the valley um raft valley the valley um rafter so um valley rafter measurement is 50. um let me change the font size all right um 20 i think zoom in and check 
right, might have to do this over. Leader. So from here to here, change my font size to 20. And then uh, here we're going to have 50 by 200. All right, valley. After, just like that, click on the outside. See that all is well. Now we simply make a couple of copies of this here. So, for example, here we're going to have some roofing material, um, the gutter, so on and so forth. So here, um, this is still a timber rafter, it's timber valley rafter. Measurement is going to change from 200 to 150. 150. All right. Uh, for here, you know this is the gutter, so we're going to label it as such gutter. All right. So you could put um, valley gutter if you want. All right, gutter. All right, so valley um, gutter. Let me see my spelling here. Yeah, I'm right. All right, so that's our valley gutter, and then you know you could always have these as um, as roofing material. So you say um, roofing shingles or anything you want to call it. All right, so roofing roof or roof shingle a roof tile anything you want to call it aka shingle all right and there we go we have our valley detail now there are information that you could have added uh, here so um, this is how we add it um, so we simply have to label our drawing now to so what I'm going to do is simply copy this one here and then paste it down here and then rename it. Simple. Alright, so once you do one thing, you don't need to redo it over and over. So here, bridge, we're going to call it valley this time. Alright, and this is how we do it. Let me copy this one here and move it to where it needs to be. Alright, so this is our valley. And this one was how to construct or draw a valley um, detail. Alright.